Welcome to the Prep Gridiron Report. With a few weeks of football behind us, it's time to take a look at how local teams are doing. We're going to do that with the help of David Hardy, a play-by-play -play announcer for the Lake 94.7 FM. Welcome to the Prep Gridiron Report. With a few weeks of football behind us, it's time to take a look at how local teams are doing. We're going to do that with the help of David Hardy, a play-by-play -play announcer for the Lake 94.7 FM. We're also honored to have Louisiana High School Athletic Association Commissioner Kenny Henderson as our guest today. Let's talk about a big event that's going to be coming up. It's a sort of a rivalry game between the St. Aug Purple Knights and Ron Eagles and McDonough 35. Now, last year, the game was played at Tad Gormley Stadium in front of a nationwide audience on ESPNU, but being in front of large audiences is no big deal for a St. Aug. Yeah. It's, it's no big deal, but the difference between this game and, and being a, uh, in front of uh, other larger audiences is that it is 35. I mean, I would tell you this, it's more of how we look at it, it's more of how bad is going to be on our part or how easy we're going to be on that band but I, I mean it's just it's just a rivalry that we do have but uh, we also we what we like to do is compare our bands to bands in the past but we really want to do 35 in really really bad so I mean it's just I mean <laughs> it's part of that I mean and it's good for the it's, it's a good it's a friendly competition, and we like to get that between the kids. I mean, and, and, and just with the other schools in the city, we're walking. When we have a friend, I mean, the, the band directors are, are, are friendly. So, I mean, it's a friendly competition, but, I mean, once you get in the stands, all, all, all the friendship ends until after, you know, the game is over with. I mean, and it's just, you know, it's a pageantry about it. Like, this week, we, we are hiding things <laughs> that we're going to do on the field until Friday or Saturday. I mean, we have some things that we're going to do at the game that are going to be, uh, I, I think, are going to be kind of surprising to the crowd. Mr. Taylor, thank you so much for joining us. And we hope that you will have the opportunity to come out and see those student athletes for both sides. McDonald's 35 and St. Aug play at Ted Gormley Stadium.